Are you looking for an easy way to produce your own video? We've got the Pinnacle Studio Movie Box Ultimate Edition on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the California Province of the Society of Jesus and Gateway. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at the Techstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Ballasar. I'm a Jesuit priest in the Catholic Church, and we're here in Henderson, Nevada, overlooking Las Vegas. Now, before we get on to the review, I want to take a moment to ask everyone out there to please, please, stop on by our website at www.thetechstop.net. It's the home of Gadget on the Internet, and you'll be able to read our daily blogs, our written articles, and maybe even ask us for what you would like to see next on the show. Please register. Comment, and remember, it's supposed to be a rest stop on the information superhighway. Now let's get on to the tech. Now we've got a special episode today because we've been getting quite a few email messages and YouTube messages from people who would like to know how we do what we do. In other words, they want to know if it's, it would be easy enough for them to get their gear together and perhaps produce a little bit of a show like we have. And uh, honestly, you know, we've spent a good deal of time looking for some easy solutions because we don't want to give you something that's going to overwhelm you. We want to give you something that's going to be easy to put into place and get up and producing as fast as possible. Well, we found that in the Pinnacle Studio Movie Box Ultimate Edition. Now, the idea behind this is simple. You have a piece of hardware. This is the uh, movie box. And um, the, it's basically a Dazzle. It's an upgraded version of the Dazzle. So you get to see what Pinnacle has done with their hardware. And it gives you everything from video and analog inputs to analog outputs. And it converts it into USB. It's actually been very handy for us. Now, as you can see behind me, we've got uh, a nice little digital setup. This is actually our mobile setup. We've got our Dell laptop here for production. We've got our Gateway T6836 for the actual video video editing, but we need something to get stuff from there into here. And that's where the movie box comes into play. Now it's not just hardware, it's also a software suite that is designed to give you a, a bit more editing power than, oh, I don't know, something that might be included with Windows, but uh, slightly less cost than uh, a professional editing solution like Adobe Premiere Pro. Well, we've had a couple of months to play with this, and um, here's what we found out. The Pinnacle Movie Box Ultimate is really two products in one bundle. The first part of the bundle is the Movie Box hardware encoder. This palm-sized plastic device is really a very sophisticated analog to digital and firewire to USB converter. The input side of the hardware device has RCA plugs for analog video and audio, a super video port for higher quality analog video, and a firewire port to connect the device to any IEEE 1394 device like a camcorder or DV deck. The output side has the same analog ports and can act as a pass-through for your video and audio or as an output for pushing your finished footage back to an analog device. Though it may not look like much, the hardware is actually quite competent. We tested it with both Windows XP and Windows Vista without incident. We were able to plug in Firewire cameras from Sony, Samsung, Canon, and Panasonic as well as three different DV decks without so much as a glitch. We never dropped a frame while transferring over the Firewire to USB bus, and both Pinnacle Studio and our installation of Adobe Premiere Pro immediately detected the converter. We didn't really use the analog inputs or outputs for our production work, but when we tested them, the transfers were crisp and clear. The software component of the movie box is Pinnacle Studio software and several supporting software packs. The evaluation unit we received had Studio 11, but Pinnacle has since released Studio 12, a slightly more mature version of the suite that adds a few bells and whistles to the program. Pinnacle Studio 11 is a video editing suite that is very easy to use but also has much to offer in terms of advanced features. For beginners it has a storyboard view that divides your video into individual scenes and uses a variety of filters and transitions to customize your video sequence. For the more advanced users, a simple click will switch to the timeline view that gives you a more exact control over audio and video editing. Speaking of editing, the Ultimate Package also includes Hollywood FX, a transition and filter editor. 
This handy little program allows you to use any number of mind-blowing transitions and effects, or even customize them to your own liking. The bonus DVD that comes with the Ultimate Edition brings even more effects, filters, audio files, B-roll, and transitions into your editing arsenal. In fact, we could probably dedicate an entire show to just the elements of the bonus material that Pinnacle includes in the package. Needless to say, you're probably going to find the transitions and effects that fit your needs. One of the cooler features of the Ultimate Package is that Pinnacle also includes a green screen backdrop for those who want to play with chroma keying. This is the editing technique that allows you to overlay one video on another. The kit makes it easy to do, but it takes a little practice to do it right and you're going to need plenty of uniform lighting on the green screen in order to avoid artifacting. It will take some time to get the right shot, but it's a blast to take somebody and superimpose them on the footage from a different source. Aside from being able to import the standard formats like DV, HDV, and all the MPEG formats, Studio also has the ability to read the AVCHD format that is popular with many hard drive-based camcorders. This is a big bonus for those who previously had to use a third-party converter to use their AVCHD footage. Pinnacle Studio can output to several different formats including Video CD, DVD, HD DVD, AVCHD, iPod and Sony PSP MPEG-4, DV, HDV, AVI, DivX Real, Windows Media, MPEG-1, and MPEG-2. The Studio Ultimate Package also includes several additional software tools to maximize your editing options. Bias Sound Soap Personal Edition 2.1 allows you to clean noise from your audio or encode 5.1 Dolby Digital into your video. Pro DAD Vitacene can add ray effects or motion blurs, and state tools let you easily add pan and zooms to your footage. All in all, the Pinnacle Movie Box Ultimate is really what it sounds like, a movie studio in a box. The Pinnacle Movie Box Ultimate is available online and at major retailers for less than $150. It's very easy for me to be impressed with Pinnacle's Studio Movie Box uh, software solution and hardware solution because we've been using it for such a long time. I mean, essentially every time we've gone on the road, we've needed to take something like this with us. We've been using a lot of USB to Firewire adapters and honestly most of them have just not passed muster. We've lost connection in the middle of shooting or the, the data was slightly corrupted or degraded or the image just didn't look right. I mean, the fact that Pinnacle has been able to leverage their experience with the Dazzle, their USB um, device that could take video and burn DVDs and so on, just means that they have really been able to engineer more or less a bulletproof piece of hardware. This is flawless with taking video and going straight into our laptop. In fact, right now, we are streaming this video from that camera through this device into the laptop where it's being recorded on our software suite. It also has that optional, you know, the analog inputs. Now, we don't use that all that often, but it's nice to know that it's there, especially if it's a mobile kit, because it gives you one more tool in your arsenal when you're creating. Now, it's not just the hardware. I mean, the software is great. I mean, it, it's not Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm not going to make that comparison. But also, it's, it's a couple of hundred dollars less. It's, it's not quite the novice production piece, but you know, it's not designed to be the, 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 the software that you're going to be putting together a multi-million dollar movie, but it's still that powerful. The fact that they throw in you know, all the accessories that you need, including this green screen, which by the way isn't as easy to use as it looks, but uh, it is a lot of fun to use, just tells me that this is one of these kinds of kits that you can buy when you're starting off with, continue to use when you're getting a bit more experience, and still have in your arsenal of tools when you're a professional. We've been looking for some cons, some negatives about this product, and you know, we just couldn't really find them. I mean, we wanted to give you a pro and con type of comparison, but there really are no cons of using a solution like the uh, Movie Box Ultimate. It's inexpensive. You're talking about under $150, less if you go with the Plus Edition or you know, with uh, less, fewer of the accessories like the green screen. It's got bulletproof hardware, it's got bulletproof software, and it's just that easy to use, and yet it has so many tools for you to do transitions and special effects. If you're looking at breaking into creating your own content, if you'd like to do better than you know, the little handheld camcorder, YouTube quality type stuff, if you want to be able to put together a nice, bit of content from your family photo albums or videos, and you want an easy way to do it that's not going to break the bank, I would highly suggest you check out the Pinnacle Studio Movie Box Ultimate Edition. If you want to find out more about it, you can go to their website at www.pinnaclesys.com.
Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about this product or any of the other products we've reviewed on the show, you can always visit us at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find all of our episodes in high resolution. If you want to send us an email message, please write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balasare. This has been Henderson, Nevada. And remember, there's no Uber geek without you.